Good evening, everybody. We are live for AF1 round 10. Three races to go. And we are here at Spa, as you probably saw from the title of this stream. The championship battle is well and truly alive. Five drivers in with a shot at the title. But one of the main ones is not here today. That person is, once again, Lowy. So it's all open again who can put their foot in the race for the championship and who can put their foot in it. You see what I did there? Yeah! Terrible jokes. The top five is separated by 18 points. Backer is in the lead on 138, then Bateman on 132, Lowy 127, uh, Dirty 124 and Denoya 120. Qualifying is getting underway just now, so I'm absolutely bringing you to look at the perching, look at the point I've got right here. Look at that. Perfect view to get us started. If I zoom in as quality quality gets underway, you'll see the first cars come up the hill. That is Imran Shaikh getting us started. Followed by Denoya, and I think that is... I can't quite make that out, actually. We've already had a crash of the pit exit. as Fonseca, I've just spotted. Can I please get stereo car... Oh, I need to bring, to bring the... Can I have the... There we go. It's an excellent start from Mario Fonseca, who was stuck at the exit of the pit lane. Here's Lantern. He's towards the front of this field. He's about fifth in the queue so far. Uh, let me turn on the speaking the speakers. That would help. You can hear stuff now. Fonsex actually had to leave the server and come back in. And there, Lantern goes off track. There are track limits in place in loads of places in this race. On the exit of La Source, Radion, uh, Malmody, Brussels, No Name, Pujon, Fania, Stavolo, Paul Frere, Bus Stop Chicane, and on the insides of Radion, uh, Lecoum, and the Bus Stop Chicane. So hopefully, people can keep it between the lines. What we're just getting. We have about 19 drivers with us today, as you can probably see from the bottom of the. Um, bottom of the screen, and the first couple, the first few are about to start a lap. Let's go on board with Imran Shaikh as he takes the, the first lap in qualifying rounds at Spa. Tracker's grip is already 98%. And we start off moving to the left and breaking at about 100 meters, oh no, that's more like 60 meters, full of source. Take a little bit of a late apex, try and get the car straightened out as soon as possible. He's going to have traffic coming down towards the coming down towards Eau Rouge. That is. Um, as for Cardo in uh, getting out of the way, Andrade will still be in the way as he heads up Eau Rouge and then Radion. I know which way round they are, I promise. Looks like a little bit of oversteer, but seems pretty stable as we head up the hill. And on to the back straight. The Kemmel straight, I knew that. Kemmel straight. <laughs> Breaking roughly where the apex is. No, even even later than that for Lecoum. A little bit of a late apex, I think he may, may even have gone deep. With a possible lockup. Turn it through Malmody. Down the hill. Tricky braking zone at Brussels. You can probably go quite a lot wider through there, but pull it to the right quickly to get a good run through no name. Don't use too much apex on the exit or you get a track limits violation. Down the hill. Again, towards Puan this time. You see Andrade ahead in the Campos car. You get a little bit of entry, entry apex. That's not the case for Shaikh. Seems pretty clean, but does look a little bit slow coming down the hill. He's going to be under threat. No, he's not. He's got plenty of track in front of him. Uh, that was Rubber 9 having a crash at Puhon in the background, by the way. Through Fanias and to Stavolo. Again, late apex. You can use a bit of quite a bit of curb on the exit. And he goes for a late apex through Paul Frere. Up towards Blashimon for the first time. Through the first part, use all the curve on the exit. Second part, don't touch the curve on the inside. But you can touch a bit on the outside. Up the hill and ready for the bus stop chicane. Where are you going to break? About 110 metres, I think that was. 
really, really slow, dead slow through bus stop. Andrade has gone wide at the bus stop exit, so that's going to be his lap over before it's even begun. But Shai accepts the first time. It's a 2.06.837. And it didn't even come up on the board. Next across the line will be Daniel Ricciardo to start his lap, and then that's followed by Deals. As I go for a fancy camera. Oh, there goes Daniel Ricciardo's internet. Whoops, that lasted long. Next, we'll have a look at John Ramakers. Next, we haven't seen a lot of him this season, but here he comes. Locks up for bus stop. Keeps it within the lines. He lost nearly seven seconds in the second sector. And that's a mouthful. Comes up the line, doesn't actually set a time. But it's currently Fern on pole with a 203.4. Deals his second, and he's just gone off. Actually, he's had a he had a spin at Malmody. Oh, Fern does a weird line through through Brussels, the Brussels hairpin. Dinoy has gone off as well and go back to the pits. Next up the line will be one of the big championship contenders, Jens Betzma, and then behind him is Robert Nine. You just see there in the campus. Plenty of exit apex. He's going to cost, come across the line to start a lap. Down towards turn one at La Source. Most of the drivers in this field are currently around the Brussels to Pujon section, so I'll switch over to I'll switch over to Fonseca. Where is he at the minute? He's currently being harried by Andrade. They're both on a lap. Fonseca's two tenths down on his best lap so far in this session. Andrade behind, meanwhile, hasn't actually set a lap yet, I don't think. No, he's still on his first flyer. Maybe even maybe even still on an out lap. This is not going to be the right sort of pressure for Fonseca. This is not good. Two and a half seconds as a result. He's lost in that second sector. It's a big sector. It's about a minute long. So you can lose a lot of time. But still, that's not great. Costa's had a, uh, gone off. Uh, Shike stopped on track as well. Lantern goes to P5 with a good lap. Jake Fimes will be next. Uh, no, maybe not. Contreras will be next. Then Fonseca. Contreras done a 206.8 so far. He's going to he's going to improve to P5 as Contreras, and Fonseca is going to go P6 with 206.4. Very close times between Contreras and Fonseca. Fonseca is looking pretty strong actually. Not going to lie. Um, his Moax Mo or Moas, Moas team, I don't know how to pronounce it actually, there's a C with a funny squiggle on the bottom of it. Uh, the Moax team currently has zero points in the standing so far. Lipsy goes to P2, it's a very close top, and Fonseca's had a crash! Ooh, actually, no, avoids the wall, but has a huge code brown spin going through Radion. And we're going to see that quite a few times today, I think. Prizes for the best crash. At Radion. Costa's stopped on track as well. While well, that's happening. Jens goes to the top of the times by 1.2 seconds. And Rubber 9 goes second with a 2.033. Very good laugh from him. We still haven't seen what Denoyer can do. Not properly. He's, on, he's in 15th at the minute. Uh, Dirty isn't even here today. So that's him out of the title fight for now. But Denoy is still in it. Batesmith still in it. Uh, so is Backer. He's currently P6. Those are the three title contenders that are in this race today. Now it is a, nine, a best nine races out of 12 system for this championship. Uh, there's no double points or anything like in AF2. I'll talk about AF2 later. Um, oh, yes, it's just given up on that lap. And it goes back to the pits. Here's Rubber 9 going through Malmody. Um... So Colin Backer's worst result is a fifth place. So if Colin improves, it goes higher than fifth. He will improve his score. Uh, Jens's best score is third, but he's had three drop. He's had three uh, either DNF or DNSs already. Uh, same for Lowy. He's now on four. Will be on five. Um, Dirty. His worst finish is ninth. His he's DNS one race as well. 
and Denoya's worst result is 12th. So Denoya is looking like he's going to gain the most out of this race and bring him into this title fight if he can get up there. Back he goes to P5, which is exactly where he needs to be. Uh, Andrade stopped on track as well. And he goes back to the pits. Fern. Going on a 203-4. It's a very close fight for second uh, for second between Robert, Fern and Lipsy. Fern's been here all season. Lipsy hasn't. He started in uh, Lipsy started in Silverstone, round four. And Robert's only been in here for one round. He debuted last weekend at Bahrain with a P9 finish. Very good, very good finish for him. But there's more to come. Denoya goes P2 with a 202.6. It's a good lap, very good lap. Brings Denoya into this. We're going to see Batesman versus Denoya again. I never stop. I never stop in this in this in this community. It's great. I love it. As I said, last night we still got five minutes left in qualifying. Um, last night, if you didn't watch it, it's been spoiled already by Redacted, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, I took the drivers and teams championship in AF2. It was such an amazing achievement and an amazing race. Um, didn't even win at Le Mans yesterday. I came second to Fyodor, who drove an excellent race. He just cleared off from lap one. No, no way I was stopping him. I just held it together through difficult circumstances. If you heard the interview I did with James at the start, uh, somewhere partway through the race, my first stint, I lost the ability to reset my VR view. So I had to do that manually, and my tracking's busted, so I have to turn my head 60 degrees to the left to be able to get it to go straight where I want it to go. I had to do that every other lap on the Volsound straight. Then I lost IntelliBoost, which meant no boost for a couple of laps, until I realised I'd lost IntelliBoost, and I had to manually boost for the rest of the first stint. And I still came home second after all of that. And it was a two and a half hour race, I was exhausted. But what a race, what a championship, what a community to win it in. I know I run the AF2 League as well, so I don't know, maybe a conflict of interest there, but oh well. And to answer Toaster's question, Zap Hosting is us, they are our race server providers. They host the server that we've got. Uh, Denoya goes top of the time to the 2020, but I think that's Batesman behind, who's just starting a lap. No, it's Backer behind. Batesman's teammate. Batesman is currently going through no name, with three minutes left in this session. Let's switch to Lipsy. He's half a tenth down on his best time currently. Yet yeah, winter, the winter skins don't look as great in my opinion. They just look like I've broken my screen. They're just sort of white. But in this track, it's less obvious. Probably because there's less gravel, and it's sort of a a slightly frosty track. Even though the track grip is 20, 37 degrees and it's actually 21 degrees in the air. Two minutes remaining in qualifying. Uh, yeah, to finish the, the Zap hosting. Uh, they are our race server providers, as I said. They host this server. We have. They sponsored. Um, a VPS server, or a VPS, I think the S stands for server, virtual private server, yeah, which means we can host AC and Kiss by Rank and all the fancy gubbins that go on top of the on top of the game that we could that we can't get with it with other servers. And we're really glad to be to be sponsored by them, honestly. Um, there is an affiliate link somewhere. The link is um, zap-hosting.com slash friends, and you can use the code assettofriends-a-3772. I'll just post it in the, the chat, because there's capital letters and stuff. It's really hard to say on a stream. Um... There you go. If you go to our affiliate affiliate link at zap-hosting.com slash set of friends and you enter that code, it's capital A, Seto, capital F, friends. 
A-3772, you can get 20% off a server with Zap hosting. Please, please buy it so we can keep our race server. Please. Mwah. Thank you. 40 seconds away from the end of this session, so I'm going to stick, switch to free camera, and there's a Norris stuck... Is this a Norris style car stuck at the start line. Next other line, this is Fern, currently P5, doesn't improve, but he's got enough time to do a lap. So too has this guy, Contreras, followed by Feimster. Neither uh, Contreras does improve, but stays P14. Feimster doesn't improve. He's not even on the board yet. Uh, follow that by with Garcia, who stays 16th with a 2059. Next, coming over the line, this is the big one. Batesman's last chance. There's five seconds left in quality, which means this is it. Here's Batesman. Is he going to be on pole? 2022 so far. Over the line. No, doesn't improve. Denoya will be on pole unless Backer has something to do with it. Mario Fonseca has crashed at the, at the back end of the track around Lecum. It's looking like it's going to be pole for Denoya. But next round, next will come Rubber Nine. He's coming around Blushy Mon at the minute. There's his delta, he's six tenths down. Here he is, round the final corner. All the ape, all the curb on exit. He goes to P3 with an excellent lap, a 203.2. Next round the corner will be Lantern. He's currently in P10. Doesn't improve, stays P10. Next, Colin Backer. He's only about half a second down on pole. He's going to go P3 with a 2.02.8. All three championship leaders are going to be up at the front. Um, Ricardo doesn't improve. Denoya will be next. He doesn't need to improve. And he doesn't. He did purple the first sector, though. Deals. Goes to P4. Really good lap from him. Which means we only have four cars left to come across the line. The first one of those is Fern. He's currently nine tenths down, but he per he uh, nine tenths down on pole, but he did a personal best in the first sector. Here he is, round the final corner. Takes a really tight exit to that corner. That might be because of a spin. But he goes to P5 with a 203.2. Lovely lap. And only beats Rubber by seven thousandths of a second. Next will come Contreras and the other Mongols car. Contreras goes P12 with a good lap. And Garcia out of the final corner will go P15. So it's Andrea Di Noia that's on pole. Jens Betzman alongside. Then Colin Backer. Deals and Fern is the top five. Rubber nine starts sixth for, alongside Lipsy and Andrade. Then row five is Gutierrez and Lantern. Gutierrez only decided to race in this race about five minutes before practice was starting. So that's an awesome, awesome drive from him. Lantern P10, as I said. Row six, Miguel Costa and, and Felipe Contreras. Row seven, Roman Nesh and Imran Shaik. Both of the uh, both of the Imrax drivers there. Row eight is Garcia and Fonseca. And row number nine is Ricardo and John Ramakers. Uh, what team is Juan driving for? That's a very good question. Let's ride on board with him now. That's not his actual car. Or is it? I don't know anymore. I, don't, I think Juan is, yeah, Juan is a reserve, I think. I'm pretty sure he's a reserve. Anyway, I need to move my camera to get ready for the start. Let's see this car. This camera should be good, I think. Perfect. And then I'll go to Denoya, who's on pole, which means I can get now get rid of stereo car cell. And look, doesn't that look more professional? Mwah, better. So we're about a minute or so away from the start of this race. It's a 33 lap race today. Obviously, they've got to use, as usual, they've got to use both sets of tyres, options, and primes. We'll take a quick look. At the two tyres, there they are. The red stripe option tyres and the white stripe primes. I don't know what the deltas are. It's a complete it's a complete guessing game for this race. So let's have some fun with it. We're about a minute and 40 away from the start. So let's try and do... Let's see if we can do like a... Is this going to, is this going to work well? Okay, let's try this. It's Andrea Dinoia on pole with Jens alongside. Let's go for a better... There we go. Denoya alongside Jens, then Colin Backer and Deals on row number two, then Fern and Rubber Nine on row three, when I get this to work properly. 
row four. Lipsy and Andrade, then Gutierrez and Lantern on row six. Costa and Contreras on row seven. Then Roman Nesh and Shaikh on row eight. The two Imrax cars, as I said. I need to slow this down because i still got a minute to fill. Garcia in the Mongols car in P something or other. I've forgotten now. P15. But Fonseca starts 16th. Ricardo 17th in the wrong car. Wrong car. John starts uh, 18th. And at the back is Jake Feimster in 19th because he couldn't sell a lap. And this spot is where I should have been sitting. Many questions to be answered in this race coming up ahead. Can Moax Racing score their first points? Who will take the lead in the championship at the end of this? Back has got the first back has got the advantage at the minute, but he's not starting at the front of the grid. I thought I'd see that's that's a car already on fire. I didn't realise that was possible. That would be Jens. So we're looking at we've looked at it now already. So fingers crossed as we head to the lights. How much carnage are we going to get at turn one? Are we going to get any carnage? And we were way at. That's the wrong car. Bugger. I've buggered that up. Completely buggered that up. Here we go. Mostly clean, but no. Lantern goes round. And that's a safety car. Attention all teams, this is race control. Virtual yep. safety car will be deployed in th five, four, three, two, one. Virtual safety car deployed. Virtual safety car is deployed. That was going so well. And then I, someone uh, I predicted it. And then someone pushed oh, someone got pushed wide and it caused a blockage. We closed the gaps, right? Yeah, yeah all those so go to hundred twenty. And leave two car lines. Can HP I go should, uh, should go uh, 80 kph. Yeah. Yeah, did I at 80? Oh, never yeah. one in that lead pack. 80. In front of, uh, behind that, 120 until they catch. These tires are cold already. Oh, yeah. It's fine. Oh, yeah. oh, well. This will be interesting. It's going to be a really interesting oh, start. Yeah. 80 kph wait like um, deals two Hamilton car lengths now? please two car lengths please and no weaving yeah two car lengths please why no weaving it doesn't help it doesn't affect the tires deals oh, again God. two car lengths please two car lengths from backer please thank you Eight, 80 kph or 120 80. Uh, it depends who's asking when you reach the lead some of you are going so slow, Costa came up as red on the screen. 10 seconds to end of VSC. 10 seconds. Good luck, guys. 3, 2, 1. Green flag. Green flag. Green flag. And instantly, basement makes a move on Denoya. I hope I muted myself because that sounded ridiculous. I am muted. Good. They're still weaving, trying to get heated to the tyres down the hill at Puon. Behind Andrade, Shike is just a mess of cars trying to get through, but they're all clean still. Lantern versus Costa is a battle for 15th, and Fonseca and Ricardo ahead. They're side by side. So is Fimes and Garcia. I've seen us. I've heard that the tyre screech of a spin behind. Uh, no, everyone's got away fine. Fimes to move into P11. Down the back straight towards Blashimol and the bus stop chicane. Batesmer is losing ground on Denoya. Yeah, only um, only Danny's skin is weird. I think he had to leave and come back. Behind, Lipsy versus Gutierrez. That's not helpful. Lipsy did pass Gutierrez around the outside, I think it was, at Blochimont. Gutierrez nearly runs into the back of Lipsy. Farmster versus Garcia. That's Shike trying to get past Garcia. And takes P11. So did Farmster. Farmster got past Garcia as well. So he dropped two places in at the bus stop chicane. It's a good, from, good run from Ricardo out of the final corner. Trying to get past Fonseca towards, the, towards turn one at the source. Almost clips the grass. Coming towards the inside of the corner. Oh, that's just ridiculous. Oh, that was a proper Schumacher on Villeneuve move there. And that's almost a spin for not Contreras behind. But uh, uh, No, sorry, Garcia behind. But everyone still gets away cleanly enough. Down the hill. Uh, get down, down the hill we go. That was almost a move from Ricardo on Fonseca coming up. Uh, uh, no, that wasn't Fonseca. That was uh, the other. Who else is in the other Skoda? It was Ricardo. Ricardo on Fonseca. Here's an onboard. Here's an orbit view. 
There's, oh, it's Miguel Costa in the in the other show, in the other Skoda car. Skoda car. Costa's got the inside for Lacoom. Fonseca has to has to uh, double take to get into the corner, but he makes it stick. Behind, I saw that Fonseca, and Garcia, and Lantern were under pressure. Thank you, Beauty. I'm actually pretty hydrated. I'm feeling good. Ooh, that was a Nesh. That was where my Nesh could be up behind. But no overtake there. Back to the battle at the front. Dunoy versus Bates with half a second still. Batesman looks smooth than Dunoy, I'm not going to lie, but it's... They're still pretty evenly matched. I can kind of expect both of these two to pull away from Backer and the rest of the field. As this race goes on, there's going to be a two-way scrap for the lead. But for now, let's ride on more with Lipsy. He's coming down the inside of Fern as he makes his way through the field. Field. He's going to be down the inside of Blushimon. Awesome move so far, but Lipsy had to pull in tighter, so Fern's going to have a faster run out of the corner. Down the inside at bus stop. Goes Fern. S little squeeze, but Lipsy's going to stay ahead for now. Denoy is the fastest lap with a 204.1. Lipsy moves up to B5 on his charge to the front of the grid. Excellent. Excellent move. Costa down the inside of Garcia through bus stop as well. Garcia's made the switchback work. But Fonseca's behind to pick up any pieces that may be left from a collision that might just happen into turn one. Fern's done Lipsy back. Is that towards... No, that's... Oh, hello! Whoa! What a dive from Fonseca! Garcia's almost... Garcia's still going forwards. That was a bit of a, bit of a dirty move, but oh my god, was it ambitious. It worked, though. Fonseca's going to have a look at, at uh, Eau Rouge, maybe? Maybe not, but Lantern's alongside Garcia. Garcia's made the move for P15 down the inside at Eau Rouge. Garcia's going to have a look around the outside of Radio on Fonseca. He makes the move stick. Garcia's up to P14 after two corners. What a move. All three of these will got DOS active now. Garcia's pretty slow down the straight, but Lantern's got a good run. He's going to do the two of them. Oh, the moves that are happening here. Lantern's going to try all three. Oh, he almost touch. Fonseca goes wide and he does touch. Is that going to be enough to bring a safety car? Yep. Attention all teams, this is race control. Virtual safety car will be deployed in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Virtual safety car deployed. Virtual safety car deployed. Four car collision at Lake Coom. Three laps to VSC. Three laps, not time. Not going to lie, that the, the moves that were going on were a bit aggressive, but super cool and super clean. Until we got to Lake Coombe and there was just, I think it was just miscommunication. Okay. Um, so, uh, Daniel said three laps of VSC? No, time? no, we're, we're three no. laps in and we've had two VSCs. Oh, okay. It's a 33 lap Should race. Should the brand? Sorry, Danny, did you say something? No. Okay. But other, other than what's going on at the back, awesome, nice and clean so far. Nice and clean. Josh, for next year, she probably should hire the limit. I only hired it two weeks ago. It's now f it's been four. Oh, you mean the yeah, speed limit? Oh, yeah, car, speed limit. It might be a little higher. Do that. This is the first time in a while we've had to use VSC. Yeah, the first yeah, time yeah. Ever we've had to use VSC. The first time yeah, ever. Yep, yep. Uh, yeah. First time yeah, but here. just for the next time. Mm -hmm. uh, Josh, I got a question. Yeah. Did you expect this? Yes. Oh, no, no interviews now. After the that's, race. It, that's it. That's it. That's the. That's, that's it. Ten seconds. Ten seconds to end of safety car. Three, two, one. Green flag. Green flag. Green flag. And we're back going once again. After VSC number two. Look who's got a really good run. That's one of. The, that's good to you. Is in one of the. That's a really late switch ca of camera there. Good to hear. He's got the outside of Fern going into the stop chicane. Let's switch to the orbit cam. Well, Fern was going to try and do a switch back, but Good to hear. was still alongside. There's a little tap, and they both got a little half spin, but they're both still going. There's been a huge crash behind, I think. I'm deciding against a VSC for that one. Good to hear, is. Rubber and Andrade, they're all together for P7, coming down towards Eau Rouge and Radion. Oh, they're both at a half spin! Rubber's gone, Andrade's trying to save it, it's not going to work! Is it going to be carnage? 
There is going to be carnage. Attention all teams. This is Waste Control. Route. Virtual safety car will be deployed in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. VSC deployed. Virtual safety car is deployed. Uh, two spins at Oru uh, at Radion. Sorry, two spins at Radion, uh, followed by pile up. It was a simply spin. <laughs> yeah, just synchronized. Just that code. Both, yeah, that both sad. the both the Campos cars just spun in sync. In in sync. It was Damn, it not. was beautiful. At I caught it on stream. It was beautiful. It's good for streaming. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the stream. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die there. Clicked. You say something? All about the clicks. We're getting the clicks. We've got 18 people watching at the minute. Nice. Should we crash more? <laughs> <laughs> more or less? Yeah, but I want a Monday. More or less? Buttons on the wheel? <laughs> what did I... <laughs> I almost crashed into fans. Sorry about that, fan. Yeah. Then back off. You okay? That's... Actually, yeah, that's about two car lengths. It's fine. Okay, um... guys. 29 laps to go. Yeah. <laughs> and twenty two safety more virtual safety cars. And twenty two virtual safety cars, yeah. This could be the yeah. longest AF one race ever. Nice. <laughs> oh, Do we have a four hour limit? <laughs> uh, ten seconds to end of VSC, ten seconds to the end. And about twenty from the start of the next one. Three, two, one. Green flag. Green flag. Green flag. And we're under green flag racing once again. Batesman gets away well. I don't know when Batesman did to Neuer, but I've missed that completely. Contreras has done an extra P10 on the, off the restart, and so is Andrade on Ramakas and Robert on Fonseca. Let's go for an onboard. We've got another three-car collision, I think. I think there's only one or two cars involved in that, but Ramakas was one of them. I think Garcia was the other. He, no, he's too far back for this. Robert got away well, and so is Fonseca. So we're all good now. Should be enough to keep us going for a little bit longer. Batesman versus De Neuer. Denoy's got a good run and a blush one, but it's nowhere near enough to get a move going into the bus stop chicane. I'm going to get a better camera for this. There we go, that's better. Behind the battle for P P1 is this battle for P5. Fern has been pushed wide by Lipsy into the, into the bus stop. So maybe a good run is coming. I need a better camera than this. That's, yeah, that's better. Is he going to try and move into the source? No, he's too far back this time. Gutierrez is waiting to pounce as well behind that. I don't know why I'm pointing at this with my with my um, cursor. I can't see. I, I, you can't see it. Down the hill, Ramica sets a personal best of three oh six eight. I don't know why I said that. Down the hill, to a rouge once again, and up towards Radion. Long well, the and who is eating shit? That's Fern who's eating shit and got his front wing stuck in. He's got his front wing stuck in the barriers. Briefly. Fern's got to be careful to rejoin. He's got, he hasn't got the turning circle to get it done. Batesman and Denoy were side by side towards the final, towards Lecon while while we were watching the um, the crash. Fern is only just getting going. He should have taken three other cars out with him so we could get so we could get a VSC to bring him back into this race. As a result, he's now way off the back. There are, there are track limits being enforced at No Name Corner as we're seeing a lot of people using it. A lot of people are using that. That could cause. I'm about to see a flurry of cars coming in. There's one. Oh, it's just Jake Fimes. So that's disappointing. Down the hill is four. It's the two CJ, C and J racing cars intertwined with the two Palace racing cars. Batesma, so C and J, Palace, C and J, Palace. Batesma to Neuer, back of deals. The highest up deals has been for a long time in this series. And it's great to see him here. Deals, or, or as Matt Smith, as you may know him, had his best finish of fourth this time last week in Bahrain. Garcia has had a crash at the back. That's a, a spin at Pujon on the exit, it looks like. Up towards bus stop once again. Batesman versus Denoya. I'll have a look at Costa versus Shike while we're doing this, because Costa is going to... Shike's trying to get past. Felipe Contreras has a weird, weird switch... Mid corner at bus stop. They nearly touch through Shike and Costa. There is a touch there. A little moment, but look at this. Shike is right on the gearbox. He doesn't get it. Bump draft. Getting the bump draft down the pit straight towards turn one. Shike's going to make the move into the source. Behind this is Andrade. Costa's got a good one. We're going to go side by side on Rouge, maybe. 
Maybe, maybe, maybe. Here we go. Ah, it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. But what, ha what, ha what might happen behind is carnage if Shike has a bit of a, a, an unstable moment. He does a little bit. Costa is going to be alongside towards Lekoum. Andrade is going to try and get out the middle. No. Costa moves. Andrade moves. Which one is he going to hit? Neither. He's going to go down the inside of the both of them. He's done Shike when he's got Costa down the inside of Lekoum. Is he going to back out of Costa? No. He's going to keep going for Costa. Andrade, two on one into Lekoum. Beautiful move. Nesh has dropped back two places while it's happening. In fact, back has dropped down to P8. That's one of the... He must have had a spin of some sort, but Shike, this is this is too good of a battle to miss. Shike is going to be he's going to be under pressure from Costa. who's going to try and go around the outside of Brussels hairpin. Not going to work this time. That was an epic battle. Back towards the front as Lipsy now has an opportunity to get a podium. Maybe three seconds back for the battle for the lead. Baseman has a 1.7 second lead over uh, Denoya, followed by Deals in third. Back has dropped back to eighth place from what was P3. And you can expect on his options, his tyres will be overheating. Let's have a look at what tyres, what option, uh, what tyres each of the drivers are on. If we go to the tyres screen, you see most people are on options, but we have Fimes on primes, Contreras, Andrade on primes, so is Ricardo and Rubber Nine and Garcia. They're all on prime tyres, uh, and I think Garcia pitted early. He's already pitted for the prime tyres, so his his he's completely free to do whatever he likes for the remainder of this race. Let's see if I can hide that, uh, that config thing. No, I'm not going to hide it. Okay, that's fine. I'll just get rid of that. Basically, that's the fastest lap with a 203.9. If you head down the front straight once again. Most of the field is spread out now, apart from the front pack. Oh, and there's a spin in the background. That is uh, Rubber 9. He's having a spin at the exit of bus stop. Maybe he was tagged. Don't really know. Rubber 9 should do what he did in the weekly. For those who don't know, and that's basically nobody, uh, Rubber Nine bullied me. <laughs> in short, we were doing RVs versus lawnmowers. I was in an RV, he was in a lawnmower, and he just kept turning me around, pit manoeuvre, and just just stuck in like a constant, a constant donut. It was painful. Five to have a look at Gutierrez. He did have a little look to what was probably the outside. Not gonna make it work this time. Down the hill. The battle of the lead is spread out now. So we can just look at what's behind. We can look at the carnage behind. Andrade versus Contreras for P10, for example. And this battle for P5 that I just saw as well. Gutierrez P5. Good Fimes to P6. A very good result for Fimes to... Uh, for, for Gutierrez so far. <coughs> yeah, he was, he was doing every RV. I mean, you know the pain as well, uh, Shell. Back has made it past. Ooh, what, what happened there? Gutierrez and Fimes both went off <laughs> to Puan. Dinoy's had a spin. He's gone off at Stavolo. Lipsy's going to go into the podium places. He's going to be caught by Baku as well. He's going around the final corner. Reminder, Dinoy's worst finish is 12th. So he's going to gain a lot of points. More points than Bates was going to gain by winning this race. It's just going to make this title fight even closer. So after seven laps, it's base moves just at the fastest lap again. Deal second, Lipsy third, Denoya fourth, Backer fifth, then Lantern sixth, then Feimster, Gutierrez, Nesh, Contreras to the top ten. Andrade, Scheidt, Costa, Ricardo, Fonseca, Rubenine, Fern, Garcia and Ramakas rounds out the field. That's a good point. I don't actually know. Is it possible for, for C&J Racing to win the team's championship today? I don't think it is. Oh, and there go. Oh, a little moment there for Contreras. I don't think there was a tap there. But this is going to get interesting. Because it's going to be side by side, maybe down towards Eau Rouge. Andrade versus Contreras. No, it's going to back off for now. But any instability from any of these three could cause all sorts of chaos. Contreras has got an excellent run through Radion. On to Kemmel. There's Andrade alongside. I have a cat screaming outside, as usual. Oh, he moves over under braking for Andrade. He's still going to have a move. Oh, they tap wheels and Andrade goes back through. Nicely done. That was just, uh, that was just as aggressive as Andrade. Mwah. Love it. I'm giving out too many kisses. <laughs> Sentence I never thought I'd say. Five star. 
on the back of Lantern. Right now, we're barreling towards the first pit stop phase. Possibly slightly extended by the two VSCs we've had at the start. Thank you, Backer. Other Backer. Millie Backer? C and J need to outscore Palace by 12 points to secure the championship. Right now, it's 25 for Batesma. Uh, plus however many it is for P5. I will confess, I cannot remember. I can never remember the, t the point standings. Here we go. So it's 25 for a win, 20 for second, then 16, 13, 11, 10, 9, 8, all the way out of 1. The top 15 get points. So at the minute, C and J Racing will be getting 25 and 11. So that's 36 points. Compare that with uh, Palace Racing, which is Deals and Denoya. Who will come home with 33? At the minute, it's not enough. Fern is into the pitch for the first time. I would have thought a one stop is probably the most likely strategy here, but we never know. Feimster has overtaken Lantern for P6. At the start of this season, it seemed almost certain that, that Icky Racing, Icky D Racing, was going to be towards the top of the times. Uh, towards the top of the team standings, but that's not the case. John Lamech is into the pits as well, by the way. Uh, Ricardo has overtaken... Uh, no, Fonseca's gone... has had a moment. He's been done by Ricardo and Rubber 9. <clears throat> Fonseca's really pushing as hard as he possibly can to get those points to get um, Moax Racing on the board. Two Moax Racing cars are Fonseca and John Ramakers. Andrade's had a spin at Pujan. He's going to have to rejoin carefully. He almost rejoined on the track, but he's going to be behind this battle for P, what is now P13. Gutierrez has spun round. He's it face backwards in the wall at Fanias. He's going to go behind this battle as well. And maybe even behind Andrade. It's going to be close between those two. So Ricardo's now P12, Rubber 9, 13th, and Fonseca 14th, currently in the frame to get Mark's first points. I'm obsessed. That's the, that's what that's the main thing I want right now is for Moax to get their first points. Speedo Racing, meanwhile, has nine points, and that's only because we now the Edo turned it for one round at Monza and got and got P7. Dead Bull Racing haven't turned up in ages. They haven't turned up since their double DSQ in Monza. Guess why? This shit doesn't give you wings. It says on the side of the Dead Bull Racing. That's being borrowed by Gutierrez today. He's going to have a dive on Andrade. Into, for, this is for the last points. Gutierrez is on options. Andrade is on primes. Do you really want to be fighting that? Eh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe you do. Up the hell. Whoa! Huge jump for Gutierrez, and he saves it! Wow, what a save. Ricardo's passed rubber nine, as we just saw at the front of your screen there, coming towards Le Coombe, and he, oh, I thought he got in there too fast. Maybe he did, he went over the kerb. He's at a half spin. He's off track, he's going to rejoin from the escape road in right in front of Andrade, who's going to have take, surely have a little pop down into Brussels. Gutierrez had a little wiggle on the exit of Malmody. And Andrade takes P15. P14. P Towards the front. Lantern has done five step into Fania. And behind this. Nesh is going to have a pop at Cut Contreras. Maybe into, into Fania's. Not going to happen. I'm here to forget tomorrow. Yesterday. And farm points. 
Well, you're not here. You're not in the race, so you can't really farm, farm any points. Andrade's had a, had a spin. He almost gets beached. He almost, almost gets beached. Lips is into the pits for the first time. He's currently on the option tyre, so he might just switch the primes and make it to the end on 22 laps. I don't think this... I don't think this race will be particularly crazy for strategy. Nash has spun Contreras round. He's going to have to rejoin carefully because he's got a lot of cars coming up. There's Costa and Fonseca. And there's Robert Knight cutting the corner and taking the bottom. All of them. But he is going to drop back. That was great. Lipsy's rejoined in P7. Contreras is down the inside and he's just bonked into the back of rubber nine. There's just a concertina on the, in the weirdest possible place. Ricardo and uh, no, it's Fonseca and Ricardo and rubber nine just they're all slowing down to a near stop and just bonk and round goes rubber nine. Ricardo, I think did Fonseca round Randy on. I think we missed that and that's disappointing. Let's go for look. Watch this camera. Boom. Isn't that awesome? On the orbit game. Completely useless, but it, it looks cool. Here's the train for P12. Although there is Costa in front and Contreras in front of him. So this is about now a battle for P10. Five car train for P10. I'm here for that. Lovely. Yeah, Rubber's still in the weekly, yeah. He was doing those sorts of moves all through the weekly. Only this time it's accidental. A third of the way through this race. Round 10. In what could be crucial for the championship. Let's <laughs> say so this is 10th place. Contreras, then Costa, then Ricardo behind that, and Fonseca and Gutierrez. You can be sure within a few laps, Rubber 9 will catch up. He's got some serious pace. Definitely on one lap pace, you can tell. He, he qualified really highly, really well in qualifying. Deals Denoya Backer in for the first time, so let's have a look at Lipsy. Can Lipsy jump any of these? Can he jump all of them? He's on the primes, is Lipsy. This is important. Oh, that was a moment for somebody. I think that was a moment for Roman Nesh behind. Into the pits comes Iman Shaikh as well. He's come out behind Deals, but he has come out ahead of Denoya. There's Denoya. And Backer, who's just coming out of the pits now. So Lipsy's managed to get past two. He's still going to get past Deals. There's Deals, three and a half seconds ahead. Gutierrez in the pits as well. Let's take a look at what tyres they're on. Here is Deals. He's on the, the primes. Denoya's on the primes. Backer's on the primes. One stop then, I guess. Unless OPO is the strategy today. I doubt it. For such a short... Length for such a short race on, in terms of laps, it's almost certainly going to be a one stop today. This is Deals on Lantern, who's currently P3 in his highest placing so far this season. I can't even remember whether I said it earlier, but here, but Lantern's best finish uh, no, Lantern's best finish. Is seventh place. I didn't say that. Lantersworth finished his seventh place at Mugello uh, four or five weeks ago. <clears throat> Let's look back to Contreras versus Costa. Contreras using loads of entry curb, but Costa probably should have used it because he went way wide and he's going to drop off the back and maybe under pressure from Fonseca, uh, his countryman behind. Fairly was done Garcia on his way back through the field. And you've got to be sure that surely Lanter will be coming into the business lap unless he's on the primes, though he's on the options. So Lanter should be coming in soon. Deals having a really big dive. He's gonna look around the outside still, and that's yes, because Lanter's coming into the pits, didn't they? Yeah, Lantern's in Lantern is in the pits. So Deals retakes P3. Feimster started this race on the prime tyres, so it's a real, there's some real hope for him if he can keep this going. Let's remind people of current pit stop strategy. Batesman yet to pit. Feimster yet to pit. Same for Nesh. 
uh, and everyone from 9th down to 14th. Tyres. Batesma has now done longer than anybody else on the option tyres. I'll, I'll, tell, I'll leave the, the tyre graphic up for a little bit longer. There's the tyre graphic. Fonseca's gone off. He's hit Contreras at the top of Radion. He's got to be careful with that rejoin unless in case Shaik is behind us of hitting. But that's not going to happen. But Shaik could be in to gain two possessions. Here comes Shaik down the Kemble straight. Looking to maybe capitalise on a couple of sitting ducks. Ignore, I would say ignore most of those lap length, uh, stint length graphics. Um, they are not necessarily reflect. They don't always reset. Denoyers definitely has. Bates was uh, Bates was hasn't hasn't needed to, but not all of them reset for whatever reason. And there's the pit stop graphic. Bates was in now. Here's deals behind. He Bates was surely going to be out ahead. Config again. Base was moving now, so it's going to be still Jens in the lead to put himself into real contention for this championship. He's driven that option stint, stint a lot better than most most of the people have, but it will still be Deal Feimster in second place right now. There is Feimster going towards Eau Rouge first. Deals is third, then Lipsy fourth. Denoyer 5th, Backer 6th, then Roman Nesh and Miguel Costa, who are both in the pits at the minute. Then Lantern, Ricardo, Rubber 9, Andrade, Fonseca, Contreras, Scheich rounds out the points, then Gutierrez, Fern, Garcia and Ramakas behind. Fonseca's had another spin, he's coming together with Contreras again at the bus stop chicane. I think maybe Fonseca was trying to go in the pits, no, they're both, out, they're both staying out of the pits. So they're just coming together again. So surely there'll be some points, some... Um, penalties coming at the end of the race, maybe for one of the two of them Denoya has just got past Fer Lipsy for P4 and just ahead of them I hear Deals squeaking his tyres or maybe that was Feimster because Deals already caught him at the back of Feimster there's a 15 second gap at the front that needs to be closed by Backer if he wants any chance of this title Backer's worst finish I will remind you because I've forgotten as well. Backer's worst finish is fifth place. So right now he's gaining no points from this race. But Batesma will be gaining. Will still be gaining points. Because he's already had three drop races. It's pure points for Batesma. Denoyer will be gaining all bar um, a 12th place. Which is four points. So Denoyer's going to be back in this fight. But what this could mean, if it stays like this, it could mean Batesma has a shot at winning the title next week at Suzuka. <clears throat> be sure to join us for that. Contreras. Whoa, there's a car flipping! Yeah, I'll count that as four. Attention all teams, this is race control. Virtual safety car will be deployed in five, four, three, two, one. Virtual safety car deployed. Virtual safety car deployed. This was due to a very large crash at Puhan that involved Feimster flipping a lot. <laughs> nope, must have been Fern. I'm in P2. Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry, Bay, Fern. Fern, sorry. What do I do if I'm behind people? 120. Like, do I have to catch up to the back of the pack? Uh, well, you're, you're already caught. Uh, yeah, you can't unlap yourself. You so you've got to stay where you are. So now I'm an extra lap down. Sweet. Deals, please do 120 until you catch Feimster. What's that in miles per hour? Uh, <laughs> kilometers. Sorry, kilometers. 80. More, more. 72. 
Uh, so 120 is 75. 75 mile an hour. Y'all going 50? Uh, what's happening here? There we go. Sean, what are you doing? Don't have to let them pass. No, you're alright. Two car lengths, please. Uh, John, if you could catch a little bit further up towards Jens, that would be great. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Green flag. Green flag. And we're back under green flag conditions as that's one of the, I think that's one of the back markers. That would be um, Fonseca, I think. No, it wasn't Fonseca. It was the other one. Uh, who was in the other one? I've forgotten. Lamakers has had a spin on the exit of No Name. Andrade on the restart has done Ricardo, and so has Rubber Nine. Rubber Nine pulled himself back up to P9 which, with a good lap. With a good few laps. Feimster is now. The lead is gone. 15 seconds down the toilet. So Feimster's right on the back of him. So is Deal, so is Denoya, so is Lipsy. The top five are all together. I just made this tasty. This is going to get crazy. Thank you, Bright. Thank you, uh, Charles, for clipping that flip. I hope you flip, clip that flip. Clip the flip. Love it. Held towards the final corners. Go the lead pack. There's Jens in front of us. Had a little flip, a little spin there. It keeps it going. And the rest of the top five. And you can see just on the back of that. I oh, know Colin back has got a lapped car in the way. He's quite a way off. Oof. Jens goes wide at turn one. Here comes Jake Feimster, maybe. Jake's going to maybe have a look for the lead for the first time in AF1. Up the hill we go. It's a good one for Feimster. Jens has a moment, but so does Feimster. But here comes the slipstream, and here comes the DRS. Jens is about to be passed for the lead. Jake Feimster takes the lead in AF1 at Spa. If Feimster going to hold it up, this is going to be a really interesting battle for the lead. Denoya and Deals are still battling. Jens is being held up, you can tell by Jake already. So this is an opportunity for Denoya and Deals to catch up if they want a, t a shot at trying to catch C and J for the Constructors. And Denoya to maybe catch up for a shot at a place in the driver's fight. Why they go through turn nine? I think that's turn nine. Uh, no name. It's no name. Down the hill. Puhan. Entry curb. A little bit for Andrea De Noya. Jake Feimster goes wide. This is Jens's opportunity again. As Feimster's still wide at Puhan. If you go wide there, you go wide all the way around. Jens is going to have a look to the outside at Fania. He's going to look. He maybe dive through. Maybe he's going to dive through the second part. No, he's not because Feimster's going to shut the door. De Noya is now on the back of uh, on the back of Jens. The race is on. Jake has got to be so super proud, of him, super proud for taking the lead in this race. Down towards Blashimol. We'll have a look at Batesman. We're going to go on board with Batesman as he heads, tries to catch Jake. I apologise for the flickering. I think that's some sort of CSP issue, maybe. Deals a spin. Deals a spun at bus stop. He's going to have to rejoin carefully because he's going to have backer. Here comes Colin Backer. Maybe a bad rejoin. Baseman is still being held up by Feimster. Denoy has dropped to, to outside of a second. But this is going to be really interesting down towards Lecum. Lecom. Lecum. Lecom. You've got to get a good one through Arouge and Radion. It looks good. Here comes the slipstream. He's already, been along, or he's already going to try and be alongside before the DRS. It's not quite, but it is going to be alongside. And he's going to have the move done. Jens takes the lead once again at Spa. And to, not going to lie, that's a, that's a wasted opportunity for Andrea De Noy. If he wants to win this title, he's going to have to be in there more than he is. Sitting back there in third is not going to be enough if he wants this. If he wants this fight, no, Diego, no. Lipsy spun. He's gone off at, at, at Malmedy. He's going to be overtaken by Backer, and he's going to be overtaken by Deals. Lipsy returns in P6. 
and it's sort of a, a, a gap for me very quickly. So this lead battle is sort of the top six, I guess. And then there's 25 seconds to land on the west of the field, down to 16th. Roughly 15 laps to go in this race. We're past, we're about the halfway length now. Halfway, half distance. Bates my lead, but that's not all the story in this race. Bates was led for most of this race. Feimster's now in second. Then Dunoya and Backer and Deals. So far, Bates was the only person to have not spun. Well, him and Jake Feimster, I think, as well. These races are three quarters F1 length. Kind of obvious by, you know, 33 out of 44. That's kind of, that's one of the easier calculations to make for this season for working out the race with distances. Tell you what, all credit to Jake. He's staying with Jens. He's really staying with Jens. He's still within a second. He's dropped within half a second. If he can keep Jens defending, that's going to bring Denoyer into this fight. And no, no not back. Back us out of this for now. Now these races are about an hour and ten minutes. Normally, if we don't have that, many, if we don't have like five safety cars. I think every safety, every VSC puts like an extra minute onto the lap time. There's going to be so many track limits penalties. So that, bear in mind, I don't think the results of this race will be the final results. A lot of people are going to get penalties, I reckon, for track limits. Because you're getting so many people going wide, particularly at no name corner. Andrade versus Lantern. Andrade, it looks like Andrade has just overtaken Lantern coming towards... Lekou. This is the big battle going on right now for P7. The two Campos cars, Rubber 9 and Andrade, and the Icky D racing car of Lantern just behind that. Lantern, the sole remaining Icky D car in AF1, it seems, because we haven't seen Lowy in weeks. But Lowy could come back next week and the next week after that, win both races and still win the title easily. Like, it's not even an issue for him. So who knows, maybe this could twist again. Maybe this this driver's title could twist again, but at this point, if Basement finishes, if it finishes as it is, Basement has a significant will have a significant advantage at the top of the at the top of the table. Uh, let's see. So Basement best finish is a third place with uh, ooh, maybe it's maybe it'll be just a second place we take off because a third, you've got a third place with two with a winner with a fastest lap in a pole position, so that's an extra six points added on to the I've to the I've forgotten number of points. Twenty two, so no, it'd be the it'll be uh, twenty. So if he needs to be twenty points. And base was gonna get twenty five. That means he's gonna own he's gonna only go up by f oh no wait. He's gonna get all twenty five. I forgot he's gonna get all twenty five. And probably the fastest lap point as well. Uh, because he's already dropped three. So Baseman's going to go up by 26 points to 148. He's the, he will have a 10-point lead over Backer before I bring Backer into this P4. He will only gain the equivalent of um, the gap between 5th and 4th, which is... 2 points. So the gap will be 8 points at the top between Backer and Baseman. There we go. There's the maths part done, I think. 
Let's have a look at Shaikh who's alongside Gutierrez for P12. Going through no name. They're going to be side by side again, going down towards Pujan. Hopefully this doesn't cause another crash that brings out another safety car that turns his voice on his head once again. Gutierrez is still going to keep trying around the outside. Maybe he will. He's going to have a move into the inside of Fanias, maybe. He is going to look. And he is going to make the move stick. What a move! Nicely done. Held it around the outside of Pujan and made the move stick down at Fanias. Excellently done. Meanwhile, in front of this, heading towards the DRS zone. Dinoya on the back of Jake Feimster in the, to try and take P2. Dinoya needs to make this move swift and clean because he's got to catch. He's got to catch Jens pretty quickly. And this could be crucial for the championship as well. Batesman drops out of P2. That gap closed from 8 to 3 between Batesman and Vaca. But as I said before, Batesman has the advantage of already using his drop races on DNSs. And still being this he's still being on 132 points. I promise you for the next race I will have um, a live championship. Just like you may um, we might just like I planned to use for AF2 yesterday. I don't know if it actually got used. I haven't watched the stream back yet. But Andrade's just taken rubber nine for P7. And pretty cleanly as well. Nash and Ricardo are together for P10. Nash does Ricardo. That's P10 done. Oh, but Nash has had a bad run over the curve, but he's squeezed Ricardo enough. Fern's gone off again. That's down at Pujan again. Fonseca is in the pits. Here's Fimes, so he's still on the back of Denoyer. As Denoyer tries to close down Batesman. This is the big battle in this race. Can Denoyer close down the 1.3 second gap to, to Batesman? I think he can. But it's going to be close. Also, this battle for P7 between two Campos cars. Andrade and Rubenine. Rubenine has got some proving to do. And he's showing it so far. He's proving himself so far in this series. seeing a very, very long list of track limits violations on my left. And I'm really glad I decided to look at that at the end of the race. But here is a, a remote possibility. Is it possible that a second stop could be done because of all of these virtual safety cars? Five still around the outside of Denoyer! Doesn't make the move stick, but an excellent try. Let me see if I can get a uh, driver of the day going. Enter too early. Back we go. Let's try that again. Oh, thank you, uh, August. August for following. <laughs> I always like to try and say their full name, but I, sometimes I just can't pronounce it. Oh uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Ocus, for following. Uh, we've got some excellent races. We've got a few excellent races coming up um, after Christmas. AF3 is off for a couple of weeks. AF2 is now finished for the season. They'll be back next month. Uh, and AF4. So it's, it's, it's AF1 and AF4 that are two se the two big seasons going on. And, of course, AF Asia. AF Asia will be back next Sunday morning. So will AF1 on the 27th at Suzuka for round 11. AF Asia is on the same day, but earlier in the day. Uh, and AF4 will be back on the 2nd of January. 
for round three at Oscherschleben. Feimster's retaken, Denoya for P2. This is, good. this is a good battle for P2 going on right now. Rubber 9 to Pitts. Probably going to switch to a set of option tyres to finish this race, which is a good option, which is a good, a good strategy, I would think. Denoya's going to have a little pop into Brussels, maybe? No. Thank you, Redacted. What a good point. <laughs> Did I get pushed wide by Fimes to out of out of no name? It's a great battle. Let's ride on board with Denoya. I'm gonna leave this to watch so you can watch this while I finish off. Uh, I will say Ramakers has gone off. He's gone off at um, I think he went off trying to come into the pits, maybe. Because he's in the pits now. But all of this is called. All of this battle is is letting Batesman get away because he's doing two o fives, and these two are doing two o sixes and even two o sevens. I'm still with one point two seconds faster than lap, than on that lap, and that might be because of the tyres. They're both on the same compound, but Feimster's is newer than Denoyer's. In fact, no, Feimster's a lot older. He hasn't pitted yet, actually. I think. Let's use this opportunity to look at the graphic. Yes, Feimster has not stopped yet. Same for Andrade and Ricardo. So, you can't expect that soon Feimster will stop. Fern has had a spin at the bus stop chicane. He's got going again. Bye bye, Config. Turns out a moment again. And John's in the pits again. Driver of the day pole is now open. You can vote for your driver of the day. Um, I think my. Who, who, who do I say driver of the day? Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Ellipsy for driver of the day today. We'll check in on how that's going a bit later on. Back to the battle. The P2 that is still going on. The rest of the field is kind of spread out now, but this is still going on. This late into the race. Thank you, Pera, for following. Pera23. Paul Paulson. He's not here today. He raced. He raced yesterday in Le Mans. Did he? Yeah, I think it did. And secured third in the championship for GTE. So he did a wonderful job. But today, he's not here. Which is probably why our viewership is so low today. But still, thank you to the 15 of you who are still here. Really appreciate it. If you haven't followed already, please do. Please subscribe to us as well if you have if you have the spare. The spare cash or the spare anything. Fern has gone off again, and this time it's off at... Who's having to reverse? He's at the exit of the Fanny chicane. He's got Gutierrez coming through. He's P12 at the minute. But he's got the time now to rejoin safely. There we go. Back to this. In fact, no. Let's switch to Rubber. He's on the back of Ricardo. Rubber's only recently pitted. He's on the option tyres. Who's so got a significant pace advantage over the guys in front? Theoretically, I think Rubber can get to P9. But he's got Nesh to go through as well as Ricardo. Thank you for bus stop at quite late, late apex. Pull it in, that looked good. On the front straight, you can see the, the, the distance he's gained. Rubber 9 set a personal best on that lap of a 205.6. He's gonna have a look. Oh, it's getting so close to the rear of Ricardo. He could have pulled in there because Ricardo was offline. I will absolutely cheer you on next week, Dewey. Oh, Ricardo has had a moment. Has had a moment. 
Rubber takes the position. Ricardo had a little um, uh, answer for that one. Ricardo is in a Skoda because skin issues. But Ricardo's going to have a down the inside of Rubber into Lake Coombe. Oh, they almost touch. Nice and close, nice and clean. Job done so far for Ricardo to stay ahead of Rubber. But is he going to have a look? He pulls to the inside. He's going to have a look down the inside. They've come. They've had a little bang down the inside of Brussels. And Rubber takes the position. Probably not fairly. Next week is Suzuka. It's going to be great. It's not my fault. I'm a main driver technically now. And that's the end of Fern, unfortunately. No, I'm streaming AF1, shall Lucas. I'm streaming AF1. At last, another opportunity for Denoyer to get past Feimster. Round the outside. Towards Le Coombe. Is Feimster going to have a little look? No, because Denoyer's blocked it off. He's gone for a defensive move there. Oh, but Denoyer's had a spin! He's gonna, is he going to get the Feimster? No, Feimster has to take avoiding action. Denoyer will drop to P3 with some hot tyres. He's going to stay P3, though. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, I clicked my plate. I'm so sorry. <laughs> professional. Proper professional. Sorry for giving you all heart attacks. Ricardo's into the pits for the second time. I think it's the second time. Oh man. And Shaq will take P12. <laughs> no, it wasn't beans on bloody toast. Ah. It was a chapati from my curry last night. I reheated a chapati. I'm regretting it. I've only eaten like half of it. Ugh. But I did also have three baby bells. Baby bells, like little mini cheeses. They're really nice. I mean, th th yeah, that spin from the noise just killed all the battling. There's nothing left. Uh, Rubber 9 on his battle through. He's catching up to Roman Nesh pretty quickly. He's on the, he's on the option tyres. He's got a lot of speed. You can tell he's got the extra speed. Catching up to Roman. There is one mandatory pit stop. It's not plain toast. It's a plain chapati. Remind you, oh, that's the quality times. One one. Feimster coming to the pits at last for his first stop. It's probably the time to do it, uh, considering the spin from Denoyer, so he'll have the most advantage from it. But he's only just stopped. He's going to be passed by Deals. He's going to be passed by Lipsy. He's probably going to come out in P6, because Andrade still hasn't come up to bus stop. Feimster's now moving, so Feimster will come out in P6. Andrade pitting now for the first time. He's going to drop behind Lantern and probably behind Nesh and Rubber. This battle for P9 will become the battle for P8. Rubber breaks really late into bus stop. He really knows how to get that thing started. That's so late. Lovely. Oh, and he's spun it. Oh, all of that's been undone. He's going to get going pretty, again pretty quickly. He's got the pace to catch up with Nesh if he can keep the tyres in. Uh, he might just pass, pass Andrade, but it's going to be close. Ooh, I had a cheer. I never heard that sound before. Thank you, Redactor, for the 25. <sighs> Other beans are available. Andrade's managed to get out just ahead of Rubber. That wouldn't have happened if Rubber hadn't spun. So this is going to be interesting. Coming up through Oud and Radion. Ooh, that's a bit of a, a, an aggressive f flick. And he's lost all of that ground. DRS Active is going to move to the inside, surely. He is going to move to the inside. Down inside of Andrade. Makes the move stick for P9. But, oh, there's a tap between teammates. This battle is not done. I'm going to go for Andrade. In fact, I'll switch to the orbit cam because this is going to keep this is going to keep going for a while. Andrade had a look into Brussels. No, he isn't going to actually make a dive into Brussels. Sells the dummy and then actually goes for it. rubber has got the inside for no name, though. Andrade going to try it around the outside. No, he's not. He has to back out and it actually goes wide. That could cost him later on in the race. Diego. Oh, jeez. 
How did me saying I'm British, I'm going for food turn into is it beans on toast? Oh, you eat beans on toast. I haven't eaten beans on toast for years. Ah! Yeah, they're just losing time at this point. Everyone stopped at least once. Let's take an update on. Let's get an update on driver of the day. Now that I'm seeing five votes for Backer and two votes for Lipsy. Now I have a feeling I, I know Backer's brother is here. Back speak, <laughs> speaking of speaking of the devil, Backer's at a moment on the exit. He had a little. Uh, he tapped the wall on the exit of Radion. So he's dropped to P4 behind Deals. That's crucial for the championship. Two, second and third is better. I hate to say it, but my dad does actually have... We bulk, buy, we bulk bought like a 24 pack of beans. Yeah, Colin's an idiot. <laughs> sorry, backers... Sorry, his backers... I'm confused now. Are, are you are you back? As, are you Colin's son or Colin's father? Father is raising. So you're back. You're Colin's son. Good to have you with us. But I get the feeling you may have passed that that uh, link. You're the father. <laughs> Sorry, I get the feeling you may have passed that straw poll link around. That's why he's got five votes. Just a hunch. We are six laps from the end. Rubber Nine has caught up to Nesh and made the move stick. That only took about a lap and a half. Not bad. Rubber's going to pretty much stay P8 unless he can, unless he loses it to Roman, uh, because, well, he's there's no, there's only six laps left in this race, and he's ten seconds off Lantern, but he has got the faster option tyres. So too does Jake Feimster, who's caught up to the back of Lipsy, who's caught up to the back of Backer. Open goes the DRS. Fimes is surely going to have a look at Lipsy. He's going to switch to the outside for the source. Maybe pull the switch back. Nope, doesn't do it. Switch back is dead. No one's done switch back. I haven't. I haven't run out of baked beans. I've still got 24 counts. We haven't opened it yet. Back is the best. It, yeah, I can see where you're coming from. It, 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 it's, a, it's, an, it's a true underdog story in its AF1 season, where you know the big guns of you know Lowy and Gents have seemed to dominate, and then you got Colin and Andrea Denoy as well. But he, he Denoy was sort of an early veteran, sort of like season one, season two. He was towards the top of the field anyway, and he's really coming to his own in this season. Five to makes the move on Lipsy for P5. Now he's going to try and get to Colin Backer. Feimster's best finish, I will say, this year um, was the third place in Mugello. He finished eighth last week in Bahrain. So he's had a pretty good run these last five rounds from Imola onwards. Six, six, eight, four, three, eight. It's good to see. It's really good to see. It's also good to see such clean racing today. Apart from a couple of exceptions, as always. It's been a clean race. Andrade is, is going to looking like he's looking like he's going to follow Rubber Nine past Nesh. Maybe a look into Brussels. Andrade likes this move. Does the dummy, but he has gone wide. Nesh is locked up as well. Ricardo Shaika switch positions. There was almost a tap. There, there, ooh, oh, oh, that was almost a tap. Actually, I thought there was going to be a tap. I was ready to, to say it, but there wasn't actually a tap. But I could see at least. It's run ball with Andrade. He tries to catch Roman Nesh. Andrade is also on newer, newer option tyres than Rubber 9. And Nesh will be on the old prime tyres. Uh, Rubber, man Rubber managed to recover after the start. Absolutely. Um, oh no, he's gone wide at uh, he's gone wide at Fanion. Roman Nesh has gone around the outside of him now. Into, into Stavolo. Is Andrade going to follow through? Quite possibly. Rubber's a little bit wider coming into Paul Freire. Which means Andrade is sure going to have a, a, a run at his teammate towards Blashimol. We're going to go for it. Side by side we go through Blashimol. Is someone going to back off? Yeah, Robin Eyes backed off. Maybe to get a switch back through Blashimol. 
No, but Rubber Knight's going to have a little look. Surely, you can tell he's going to have a look. He's got that pa He's got that fire in him, like I said last week. No, he's not going to do it. But Andrade's going to... He's going to have a little dive on Nesh. Wow! Oh, there was a tap there. Half spin. Rubber's going to do Nesh. Nesh is a little flick to defend, but it's going to be enough for Andrade and Rubber to go through. I shouldn't have gone for the rear view there. I was expecting Rubber to go through. I wasn't expecting Andrade to try and make a move on Nesh. There was almost a tap between Rubber and Roman. Roman still having to get going again after the move. And so concludes this battle. Andrade 8th, Rubber 9th, and Nesh 10th. Honestly, the amount of times I've seen people crash not long after I say their name in, in, in all the seasons, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. Oh no, Colin lost. Whoa! <laughs> I was too busy focusing on the fact that Colin lost two places that I almost. I completely forgot. Andrade has just spun and nearly came into contact with his teammate. He drops down to P10, Rob up to P9, and Nesh to P9. Uh, Lipsy's gone off at a Paul Frere. He drops to P6. Back has made up one of those places that his father mentioned just there. It keeps happening. I keep mentioning people and things happen. Overheating tyres all around the field. This is Lipsy on an old set of primes by now. Uh, but Batesman still has a four, 15 second lead over Denoya in the lead. Uh, then another 15 seconds to Deals and Feimster, third and fourth. As I said earlier in the stream, Deals is actually Matt Smith. Uh, he's been in here. Matt Smith has been here most of the season, he's been through all, most of the races. Um, in fact, he's been to all the races so far. He's really coming to his own recently. You know, before before uh, Imola, he'd scored six points, seven points. Now he's on fifty-eight after a run of six after a run of six five five four from Monza onwards, and he's on for another and he's on for one better. He's on for a podium, his first podium in this season today. If he can keep this going in Spa. Behind that, Jake Feimster on to uh, on for. His best finish since Mugello. Which really boosts his step which would really boost his uh, championship. It probably take it would take him ahead of Andrade. Uh, it may even it would probably confirm P6 in the championship at this rate. Because Andrade behind his main challenger is P10. Uh, so he in fact he won't gain any points in the championship. Because uh, Andrade's worst finish so far is ninth. Three ninths. So his basement is just coming through. Oh, his basement. Yeah, he's just starting the third from last lap. Three laps to go in Spa. Can Feimster? Who's going to take that final podium place? Is it going to be Feimster? Or is it going to be Deals? Deals yet to score a podium this season. Times to score one in Mugello. Deals needs to keep this position to help his chances in the constructor standings. So, just to update on where this, the uh, constructors will be. Batesman will finish with 26 points. Um, Backer will get... Oh, is he going to switch to the out inside? He's fine. So yes. Makes the move stick on Deals so far. Closes the door so Deals isn't going to make a move into turn into the coom. Move done for Feimster. With three laps to go. Base was coming up to up onto lap traffic in the form of Benjamin Garcia. At this rate, it's going to still be no points for Marx Racing, even though throughout this race we thought it might be. Well, I thought it might be. Don't know about you. Thank you, Travis Connor Busted Two Thousand One. Thank you for following. Thank you, Travis. 
Hope everyone's enjoyed this race today. It's not been the most exciting race, to be honest. Bahrain certainly was. There's stuff going on all the time. There's still been some, uh, plenty of battles in this race. Um, I think the main thing to take away from this race is Batesma has one hand on this championship. Surely, at this point. Colin isn't going to gain many points from this. The championship will still be close. But whatever, whatever points Batesman gets, he keeps. He doesn't lose any because of... <laughs> beans. He's not going to lose any... He's not going to lose any points. I've lost my train of thought. God damn it, Be God damn Beans. I've said done. Ricardo catching up to Gutierrez for P11. Here it is, with two, with, uh, two laps to go for them. a lot in this second sector. He may be in the frame for a move at bus stop. It's more likely to try it next lap, but let's see what happens. Fimes has been over... Back has done deals. Back has done deals. Deals are a slow run, I think, through that... Through... Where was I looking? Here. I've missed this move as well. Ricardo down the inside of Gutierrez at bus stop. Makes a move stick and gets DRS to, do, to, to boot. Deal spun, yes. It didn't come up as red, otherwise I would have looked immediately. Gutierrez had a little pop, but doesn't make the move. Andrade's caught back up to Roman Nesh in the battle for P9. So I believe that could be it for the championship. Bates for 26, um, Backer 16. If I look at the right page, I'll be able to answer the question. Always having a look every which way to get there. He's not going to make it this time. So at the minute, Bates will get 26. Uh, Backer will get 13. So that's 39. Compare that with Denoyer, who's got 20. And Deals, who will have 11. 33 to... I've lost track. 33 to 38. Not enough. Those 12 points will not come today, but they will come next week, surely, as we go to Suzuka. This battle's still got a lap and a half to run, though. Albeit for P9. Nesh and Andrade. I, I agree with Beauty. I agree with Beauty. And right, he's got a brilliant slipstream one on Nesh. He's going to pull to the outside for, for the bus stop. That's the wrong button. That's the right button. Again, professional streamer. I'm good at this, aren't I? Thank you for agreeing. <laughs> Whoa, Nesh had a moment out of the out of the first corner. Th God damn it! Oh, that's just ruined the moment. But here he comes out of the final corner. It will be another win for Jens Batesma at Spa. Stunning victory that will put him in the frame for the driver's title. Second will finish Andrea De Noia. There's a crash in the background that's involved uh, Fonseca. It means that Garcia and Contreras pass Fonseca. Fonseca will finish 16th, uh, 17th rather. Garcia takes the last point. Fimes is going to come out of the corner for his second podium in three races. P3 for him. 
Then it will be Colin Backer in P4. There he is. Deals will finish P5. Lipsy will finish P6. So it's not enough for C&J to win the title today. If my maths are right, at least. Then in the distance, in a couple of seconds, we should see Lantern and Rubber. There's Lantern. Really good result for Lantern. This is another great finish. Equals his best result this season of 7th place. Rubber 9 will finish 8th. One better than he did last week. Andrade, his teammate, will finish 9th. Ahead of Roman Nesh. Danny Ricardo finishes P11. Uh, in his... Oh no, Andrade's the... <laughs> I need to stop looking at the wrong screen. Nesh did Andrade for P9. Andrade had a moment at the bus stop. Andrade finishes P10. Ricardo finishes P11. And Gutierrez finishes P12. And in the final two drivers, Imran Shaikh finishes first 13th. And Costa, who had a mini spin just there at bus stop. Thank you for doing that. Finishes P14. Cars everywhere. Oh, I missed it. Race. 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 The horn of these cars is brilliant. As we just look at the um, orgy going on at the at the source hairpin. Account created four minutes ago. I eat beet beans on toast. Few cars there, deal still celebrating. Right, let's bring in the top three, shall we? We'll start off with the race winner, uh, who will be Jens. Let me just switch on the fancy interviews button. And I'll bring in Jens. I need to actually move to a different channel because I'm in the wrong channel. I'll do that and now bring in Jens. Hello, Jens. Can you hear me? Can hear you. Excellent. Uh, congratulations on another excellent win today. This is your uh, third of the season. Um, that 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 third virtual safety car came a bit unexpectedly, I, I suppose, for you. Um, um, what were you thinking then? Yeah, it was a bit awkward. Pretty much had a 12 second lead or so, and then it came down to nothing. Got stuck with five, so like two laps uh, with the DRS, but one lap like I overtook him and then just took off, um, and had the one second gap, and then he started to battle with SV, so I could drive off, clear that one sec, and just race my own race. How do you fancy your championship uh, championship hopes now? Well, if Lowy doesn't show up like this, it's uh, it will be pretty good, but I don't know. There's still, I mean, yeah. You're, you're, if on the face of it, it looks like your championship is almost certain. You got one hand on it to maybe even take it as early as Suzuka. Maybe unlikely. Um, if I win, I would. If, if I, yeah, we have to check. But I don't know. But still, low is really fast, and I wouldn't have won it if he raced today. So yeah, there's there's always that there's always that issue. If Lowy comes back, you're doomed. So yeah. <laughs> so for your for your own sake. Uh, gotta hope that Lowy doesn't come back, but it'd be a great way to end the season if it's you, you two together, because he's still got to come. He's still got to gain quite a few points on you, at least twenty. Yeah, at least 20. yeah I think if I, I'll, uh, I'll get second. Like I'm three points ahead of him right now, so after this I will be twenty nine points ahead. So yeah, we have to calculate, but it's, it's looking good, but. It's not purely on my own stations, so it's mostly on Lowy just not starting for five races. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, you want you you were given the AF2 championship yesterday for, in the teams. Uh, <laughs> next week, uh, I had to bring it up. And next week, you got it, it, it surely um, finally time to crown you as the AF1 teams championship. Legitimately, oh, we time. already did. Legit- Oh, is it confirmed? Did. I, I didn't think yeah. my calcula- I thought my calculations said that it wasn't enough, but uh, maybe wrong. Colin, uh, Colin, me got uh, he got fourth and I got first, and they got second and fifth. So I, that's I the twelve I, second, I did, uh, twelve. I, I, I didn't think that was enough, but anyway. anyway, in that case, congratulations on winning the teams championship. Two in two days. Two, technically one in two days. Just saying, but. <laughs> um, yes, I will send you back now. Congratulations on the win against today you. and on the team's championship if you have won it. I'm assuming you have. From yeah, my, my calculations yeah. can be wrong, but yeah. But mine are more likely. Yeah. To, mine, mine are more likely, likely to be wrong. But yeah. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> yeah. True. I was about to move myself there. Uh, let's bring in the second place guy, uh, Andrea Di Neuer. Hello, Andrea. Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, how was that race for you today? You uh, came home in a brilliant P2. Uh, you spent a lot of that race fighting with Jake Feimster. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not so happy uh, with my race. I had more pace than him. I stuck. Um, yeah. I could have finished be behind uh, Jens. Oh I mean, yeah, looking at the pace, it seemed like you could have taken the fight to Jens, but uh, obviously Jake had to get in the way with his alternate strategy. But it did work out for him. But you got second at the end. Um, yeah. Sadly, apparently you, you've lost the team's championship now. Um, was that a consideration during this race? Or, or was you already, um, for all intents and purposes, were... given up? They were too far ahead, to be honest. We that was impossible to win the championship, the team championship. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> to be honest. Uh, yeah, we, we spent most of the stream watching you and, and Fimes the battle because there were some really cool moves from both of you yeah. uh, throughout the race. Right. It was great to see. Yeah. Uh, right. I'll, I'll I will send you back now. Thank you very much, Andrea, for joining. Thank you, guys. And see you next I week. I want to, uh, yeah, I want to thank my sponsor. Um. Uh. He's forgotten what it is. <laughs> Great sponsors. Uh, back, yeah, back, yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bye, bye, guys. See you next week, Andrea. So yeah. Congratulations on second place. Thank you. Uh, I was about to bring in Jake Feimster, who finished third, but he appears to have gone. So I guess I think we'll leave it there for today. Um, yeah, assuming the math is correct, that's it for the team's title. C and J Racing, Colin Backer, and Jens Batesma have now won. The AF1 team's title. That's two championships in two days for Jens, even though he did. Excuse my French, he did fuck all for the first one. But this one he did. Um, yeah, and it's definitely deserved. This one's definitely deserved. Absolutely. Um, but the driver's fight still goes on. And obviously. This these results are not final. There may there is most likely going to be quite a few track limits penalties coming through, and maybe even some DRS penalties. I'm seeing at least three that have that have been unserved uh, for Lantern, Nesh, and Drade. I'm seeing listed here. So that could come into effect later on. But until next week, it's goodbye from me. Um, we have, it's say AF2 is done for the season. AF1 is back next week uh, for Suzuka, round 11. I'm just going to confirm that is correct. I'm pretty sure it is. 
and get the right picture. Yes, Suzuka is next week. That's December the 27th. Stream starts at 5 p.m. GMT for Forty Lap Races Suzuka. AF2 will be back next month. They're done for the season. AF3 is back after. Uh, it will be back um, on the 15th of January. We've got a non championship race on the 8th of January that we'd love for everyone to join us for because it's going to be great. That's at Washington, D.C. Um, and then the actual championship race a week later. AF4, as I said, is back on the 2nd of January for Oschersleben. That's round three. Um, and, and we have AF Asia back next week. Is that next week? Where's the calendar when you need it? Yes, AF Asia is back next week as well on the 27th. Uh, so that's it for a week. Please join us on Discord. We'd love to have every single one of you in. We have some great weekly races coming up. Hopefully, um, we had a lovely meme race today. We, we did a bit of a meme race with the RVs and the lawnmowers at Imola. That was great fun. Um, yes, say join us on Discord. Subscribe to us on YouTube to watch back all of our streams. Um, follow us on Twitch. Subscribe to us on Twitch as well if you if you are able to. That would be great. Um, and until next week, it's goodbye from me. And goodbye from my beans on toast, apparently.